Okay, uh, so this is a short tutorial on how to run multiple analysis of variance or MANOVA using JASP. So we have our data set here. So let's say for example, uh, we have three dependent variables, positive affect, negative affect, and well-being. And we have um, one independent variable. Let's say, for example, our independent variable is socioeconomic status. And uh, these are the levels. So we have low socioeconomic status, middle, and, um, and high uh, socioeconomic status. And we want to see if there are systematic variations across or in these three dependent variables across the three levels of uh, our uh, three level categorical independent variable so with that uh, we need to run multiple analysis of variance uh, there will be necessary post hoc uh, after we run the manova uh, which i will tell you uh, in a while so to run MANOVA, let's click on ANOVA and then let's choose MANOVA. So this is our uh, output table. So let us transfer our dependent variables to the other side. So we have uh, positive affect, negative affect, and well-being. And our fixed factor or our independent variable is socioeconomic status okay so the results uh, so in particular this maneuver is uh, using the plies trace test um, and uh, looking at the looking at the p-value for socioeconomic status we can see that the p-value is uh, significant it is less than 0 0.05 uh, and that means to say that there are systematic differences in our dependent variables uh, across the different levels of uh, socioeconomic status okay um, so aside from that uh, what we can do is to run um, a nova test so um, now that we know that there are systematic difference in these variables collectively, we also want to see if there are systematic differences in the variation in terms of each of these variables across the different levels of socioeconomic status. So we click our ANOVA tables. So we have three tables here, one for each dependent variable. So for positive affect, Yes, uh, there are significant uh, or there are systematic variation across different socioeconomic status. For negative affect, there is none. And for well-being, there is also a systematic uh, variation. Uh, unfortunately, the options um, are limited for MANOVA. Uh, and while we know that there are systematic differences in positive affect and well-being, uh, the current um, uh, the current analysis uh, cannot show us additional descriptive statistics or post hoc tests in order to understand the nature of these differences. Um, and so, what we can do is to supplement this. Uh, uh, multiple uh, analysis of variance with follow-up uh, one-way uh, one ANOVAs. So we can, for example, take a look at um, positive affect. So we can run an ANOVA uh, and then let's choose one dependent variable positive affect um, with uh, socioeconomic st uh, status as our fixed factor uh, and we can see that the result of this ANOVA is the same as this one uh, 
particularly for the uh, p value uh, and afterwards we can take a look at the descriptives All right, so this is our descriptives. Um, so we can see that uh, those with high socioeconomic status numerically seem to have um, higher uh, positive affect. We can also run post hoc test to determine um, to determine whether. Uh, the differences among these means are significant so these are our comparisons so between uh, let's choose Shefe instead of Tuki uh, because our sample sizes are not even are not equal so between high and middle uh, yes there is a significant difference uh, the positive affect between high and low yes there is a significant difference and between middle and low uh, there are there is no significant uh, difference in the positive affect we can also check uh, plots um, okay so let's click the display error bars uh, and this is the plot okay uh, so we can see obviously that those who have high socioeconomic status um, have significantly higher um, positive or experience significantly higher positive affect uh, and you can do the ANOVA for uh, the other dependent variables uh, particularly um, well-being uh, which in our MANOVA uh, was evidence to have uh, significant variation okay so that sums up this short tutorial in um, MANOVA uh, you can also check my other video on between subjects one way analysis of variance uh, for more details on how to run uh, between subjects one way ANOVA thank you